Today, I'm in the village of Bewley in the New Forest. This part of Hampshire had a really interesting part to play during World War II, and I'll talk about that more in future videos. But today, I wanted to focus on one particular aspect, and that's that small, pointy building you can just see behind me. Now, it actually holds a really, really interesting secret. And if you watch the rest of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly what that is today. What I'm just about to show you, I think is one of the best disguised and camouflaged pillboxes in the whole of the UK. I've never seen anything like it. And um, I'd be surprised if you have too. So just down here, we're gonna go check it out. Through this corridor here is what I believe to be a complete one-off when it comes to World War II pillboxes. It's called the old dairy house for the Beaulieu estate. It was used to store milk and produced butter. It was built possibly in the 1700s. And then in 1940, with the threat of German invasion, it was converted into a pillbox. And actually it's listed on Lieutenant Colonel Crofton's um, diagram of the area, in which he shows all the different ways in which the Beauty River here could have been possibly defended, if indeed it was gonna be used as an entrance point for the enemy. So as we see, this is the, the dairy house here. In 1997, the, the tiles were replaced, and even these here, these struts here, were put in in 1997 to replace the older ones and actually use um, fallen oaks from the great storm, I think of 1987. So there have been some modern adjustments to it, but none more so than the ones that were made during the World War II. And we'll go and check those out now. So as we come in, see the door here now, as you can see, when this pillbox, when the dairy house was uh, converted into a pillbox, they thickened the walls to a couple of feet here. You can see this. So in effect, what you would have been walking into was a large concrete bunker in many ways. You'll also notice the tops here. Now, in 1940, this actually came down to this level here. You can see that. But I think in the 90s again, they took out the bricks and the concrete from here just to make it a lot easier to gain access into. And now it's being used for storage, as you can see. But as we come in, it has three loopholes. Here's the first. And that gives you a good line of sight over to the bridge that runs through Bewley. Um, and that bridge um, possibly was rigged with explosives um, and could have been blown should the enemy have advanced across it. We then have this one, which looks out across the river towards the Bewley estate walls. You might just be able to make out the loopholes in those walls as well. And if we come over this side, we have another slit which covers the approach from the river. What you'll also notice is, again, these walls have been made so much thicker. And we'll go outside in a minute as well, and I'll show you what they look like from the outside. But as we move back, you'll also see above. Now again, this entrance point here was actually put in in 1997 to enable felting of the roof but uh, in 1940 when the, uh, the dairy house here was converted into this amazing disguised pillbox you would have been down at this level obviously the door was shorter as well and you're cocooned in this brick and concrete structure which hopefully you would have been able to uh, defend the approach through beauty from now the reason uh, Beaulieu has got these defences is because um, if the New Forest Coast was going to be in invaded, they might have had to have used Beaulieu as a through route to get into the UK. So that's why you have pillboxes like this and others in Beaulieu. Now if we come out, we'll take a quick look at what slit holes look like from the outdoors or the outside rather of the dairy house. As we come around here, Beautiful views, aren't they? Beautiful views. So here's the first one that looks over to the Beauty Estate. And as I said earlier, there's the walls of the Beauty Estate, which also have loopholes in, which would have been a position of defense. But if you, as you can see here, this is how well disguised it is. So they bricked the window up. You can see, look, and left the glass in, but then they've cut some of the glass out here. And you can see, cut that glass section out. So the guns, and the firing position was clear. It's amazing stuff. But no, you can just see how thick the walls of the slits are. So we come around the other side now as well. And there's that bridge I was talking about a moment ago. But 
Oh, we just missed one. See, that's how well disguised this place is. We've just actually missed one of the loopholes there. So let's go check that one out here. Here we go. So there's another one of the loopholes. As you can see, exactly the same as before. Glass sections taken out, brick taken out. So you've just got that small line of fire, which lets whoever's in there cover the bridge. And also as you come over here, you might just about make that out. It says 1945 on the bridge. Um, the bridge was also widened during the war to allow uh, Allied tanks to cross it, probably in the lead up to D-Day. And now we'll just look at the final slip around the back. If we come around here. And there it is. So that one covers any approach that would come through the river as well. So there you go, what a fascinating place. That, for me at least, is Britain's best disguised pillbox. But the mad thing is, that's not even the only secret place in Bewley to do with World War II. There's so much more. And over the coming weeks, we'll be showing them to you. So if you like this kind of stuff, please do subscribe. Mm -hmm.